they hear a debate where we debunk, debate, and discover all things here. Yes, and welcome back. My name is Morello Kenny Stay Hair Debate. We have a great discussion today. We are bringing it to you. Some people' feelings are going to be hurt, but you know what? Because y'all know how my panel is. I'm just saying they can get very technical sometimes, and we plan on doing it today. My panel. <laughs> See, already they showing out. You know what? <laughs> Let me introduce to you Amanda Nicholson. What's up? Ah, uh, girl. Okay, Amanda is doing something. She is. Um, she has her. She's ha has her certification as a marriage and family therapist. Yes. Well, Lo as of right now. Uh, okay, go ahead. As of go right ahead. now, I'm a licensed associate uh, marriage and family therapist. I love so that. So not fully licensed yet. So I'm gonna try to come from my not, not yet. Not, my condition. It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming very soon. But yes, I do marry. I work with couples okay. and individuals. Um, and I also have a YouTube channel called The Prude's Guide to mm. Intimacy. So make sure you check that out i help women find their sexual selves their inner sexual Ooh, goddess and it. i do sex education on that channel and talk about relationships and all types of fun stuff love it dr donna ario wow oh Ooh. all my stuff she did it front and present booyah oreo <laughs> how are you beautiful i am doing Swimmingly well. Ah, you look, I, I'm loving that color on you. You rocking it. You doing you something. Don't it's up, no, no, no. It's, it's, uh, oh, 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 she did that. It's beautiful. Those colors, I, I love it. So uh, now, Dr. Donna has her um, doctorate as a s sexuality. Yes. Okay, I'm loving it. I'm a doctor of sex. D oh, mm -hmm. I, wouldn't that be More great? That's just great. Just great. <laughs> So, what do you have some things going on in this season, Dr. Donna? Oh, many things are going on. Um, now is the time where therapy for folk pick up because I yes. don't like their families that much. <laughs> <laughs> or their, their families have traumatized them. And yes. They try to get their life back together or try to yes. gather themselves before they go sit around that whatever table they're going to be sitting around. Yeah, no, no, no. Turkey, Holidays, yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. Well, it's coming. Then, you know, that New Year time. Uh, it's coming. Oh, yes. We, on, we will be on something else. <laughs> uh, I have been doing weekly slash bi-weekly. I love that. I love <laughs> that. Okay. On, uh, my Insta on my Instagram, talking about all things related back to therapy, colorism, texturism, because, mm -hmm. I mean, now's the time of year People and it is some type of way about and it is everything. no absolutely right for 2020 I, it's coming it's coming. It just around the corner uh, look at you looking like a whole statue oh. <laughs> Die, and it is, look. A excuse us excuse us excuse us we buffeting it out over here <laughs> I tell you, beautiful, how are you today, Miss Tiara Trimmel? How are you doing today? I am wonderful. Thank you for having me today. Okay. Uh, t may I call you T? I honestly, I prefer, prefer royalty. What, uh, what? Say it again. What is it? Royalty. Uh -uh, right. I love that. Now, what is royalty? Talk to me. Okay. Royalty kind of came from my name, which is Tiara, which is the crown, and the crown uh, is royal. Uh, and I consider myself to be royalty. Anybody around me, anyone in the instance of all of this wonderfulness, <laughs> is royalty. We're all kings and queens. Ah, say that. I love I it. I love, love it. it. Oh, my God. I'm up here with some oh, beautiful women. I feel like I need so, to sit up straight. Right? Put that arch in my back. Look at that. Oh, my God. So, our topic today. Um, is one that must be discussed. So we're talking about the how and why, okay, behind that stink weave. So now, but now let me just say this, because you have some, you, you're talking to all professionals in this industry, you know, uh, T, T, Royal T, okay, she is. Now, how many years have you been in the industry? Fifteen. Okay, well, okay, so now you have come across some weaves Okay, hair weaves and whatnot. So now, it looks uh, like her face. Remember in the smell. Yeah. Oh, I was having a flashback moment. I'm sorry. No, like no, no, absolutely. <laughs> now, have you ladies worn weaves yourselves? Yes. Yes. Okay, sewn in. 
Yes. yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, so now let's talk hair. Okay, so now when it comes to hair weaves, what would you say, um, how long would you typically leave your hair in for? I don't know. I don't, it's been so long since I've had a sew-in that I can't even remember. Mm -mm. No, I can't remember how long. Because once I get tired of it or it gets to the point where I can't manage it. Absolutely. Like it's time for it to come out. Oh, absolutely. And you know, your head start, you start. They gotta, no, no, gotta, no, no, no. For it real. gotta come out. <laughs> yeah. It gets real, it's yeah. over. It's okay, okay. Well, and it's time. Okay. <laughs> Time. No, for real. Okay, so Dr. Donna, how often? Well, because I know you embrace your natural and whatnot. So we we talk about a long time since you've had a oh, weave yeah. in. Okay. A long, a long, a long, long, a long, long time. Okay, so now do but you? I'm gonna do it again. Oh, oh I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. I'm not, but now, so now, do you have women that come in and they have issues where they're talking about like okay? Women that have come in and whatnot, sat in your chair, and you have smelled, you know, their hair and whatnot. Have you had any of those type of situations? Yeah. <laughs> wow, and every, really? Yeah, every now and then I can really? feel them across the room. I just be like, oh, Lord. Are you serious? Jesus. Look at that. <laughs> For real? You have. Yes, but that's also why I have used preemptive strikes as a result. Wow. So one of the first times it happened about it hurt my feelings. And I was like, we wow. were just now building that, you know, that therapeutic alliance. So it was not the time to be like, yo. Uh, right. Exactly. So then, exactly. I modified and it helped to um, set a different therapeutic mood. I just light a candle. And I said, wow. So Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I am engulfed in the lovely smells of lavender and <laughs> And not in dreadful stinky weed. Okay. Okay. Now. <laughs> Royalty, being in the industry as long as you have. Okay, what would you say, um, because you know what, in school, you know, we talk about, you know, when it comes to hair extensions and whatnot, but really not a lot of, you know, educating the client about, you know, leaving it in and, you know, um, about when it comes to the, even the hair itself. You know, I have had a client to come in and say, okay, the hair that I'm using is smelling. Okay, so now let me ask you this, you know, um, you know, how do you address that with your clients? Like, do we, before they leave your salon, do you, you know, their care package, do you guys talk about that? First off, we talk about maintenance, because <clears throat> I believe that the smell first comes from maintenance. Yeah. If you are getting a sewing in a weave, I always suggest mm -hmm. shampoo and condition every other week. That completely okay. eliminates and breaks down that smell that okay. you are smelling. But a lot of people, what I've come to learn is they just want to hold on it to the very end. And they and do. after a month and a half of not washing your hair, you have to think of all the sweat, all the buildup, all of that is mashed into your brain. Oh. If you knew some of the experience I've had, I had to specifically tell clients, I can't take you again like this. Oh, you said, you've said that out of your mouth. To. Out of your mouth. I've had to because they had to no know tea, the no serious this, this. No, 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 no. I mean like the smell of I want to turn around and throw up. Wow, are you serious? No, but but you know, and and what's <clears throat> what's interesting is that the entire room will read smell. that smell. Absolutely, and how absolutely. Do you lay on your pillow and I smell that at night. The wall from the wall. Well, what they call it, nose blind. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I can only imagine like, like you putting your you putting your hair up in your bonnet and then you lay down. You know the air. Yeah. It has to come like it. up that way, like. So poof. The poof of air. You yeah. can't. Well, you know, blind to it. You know, blind to it. You're not smelling it. But that's like when you don't wash your hair and all of that, that's mildew. Oh, and then, yeah. uh, when people wash their sew in, then they don't sit under the dryer. Okay, I was going to say that because that's really <laughs> where the. Mid the right. Mildew, the exactly. From, yeah. I was going to say that. That's really where it's coming from. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. You know, um, that is crazy. And so, and so. Donna. <laughs> and so now, like, <laughs> I don't know, I'm scared. Go ahead. No, okay, no. <laughs> right. I'm like, what's going Okay, so, so now Donna, you know, having these clients and and you know, so now the ones that you are comfortable with, because I tell you, Dr. Donna does not bite her tongue you, at all. You know, so so now how do you address that with them? Like, how do you kind of say if they have like relationship issues? 
and you know, and like, so in the back of your mind, you like, okay, now I, you know what? Cause she don't know, you know, I, I think I kind of know why that guy don't want to, you know, <laughs> I mean, I usually ask them, can you walk me through? <laughs> Like, I'll be like, you know true what? True story, true there, story. You know, there seems to be a lot of different factors that could be involved with, with regard to your sex life. So let's, let's number one, walk through. What really? Are you what are you eating? What are you drinking? Because those things will show up in your, in your skin. They show up in your hair. So I'm like, what are you eating and drinking? I'm like, walk me through your hygiene routine. How often are you washing your body? How are you washing your body? I've had to teach more than a few women how to properly wash are their body. Are you? Okay, you are not. Because some you people are, are sticking soap in their vagina. That's not where it belongs. But wow. you know, I'm like, okay, so now tell me your full regimen. How often are you washing your hair? How often are you? How often? How, what, what kind of products are you using? Maybe you're having an allergic reaction. I don't think that's it. But, <laughs> You know, I'm like, can, can Dr. Donna stop being a doctor real quick? Can I take off this therapist hat? Baby girl, you stink. <laughs> no, exactly. You are now odorous. Yes, and yes. And that may be having a huge impact. Absolutely. On your sex life. Wow, really? Yeah. And Self-care. You have to take care of yourself. And they, he or, you know, whoever the other partner is, because mm -hmm. um, I see both heterosexual as well as homosexual couples, I'm just like, well... Do you have something that you like to say? Because we do breakout sessions. So I'm, they done told me, like, they stink. Wow. I don't know how to tell them that they stink. And I'm not like, well, we're going to tell them. Oh, they us. said right, that. Because I keep no secrets. None at all. I keep no secrets. I keep no secrets. So whatever you, you say to me, cheating, I told them you cheat. We're going to have to say it in a bigger secrets? session. Oh, that is amazing. But you know what? So it may not just be the care or whatnot, the maintenance of their hair, or it could be the hair itself. You know, because one of my classes is like, okay, it has this fishy odor. So if the hair smells fishy, well, what do you think they're relating that to? That it is smelling fishy. They may not think hair. Uh, you, wow. uh, oh, mm, no, my wow. head is itching. Uh, so, <laughs> and so, <laughs> no, for real. And so, um, royalty, what are some things that they can do to the hair if it's the hair? weave itself when you purchase it and it has a smell to it at this point i'm realizing hair is coming from a lot of different sources so it's really hard to pinpoint what the exact issue is we can go through the whole deep conditioning and washing it and sitting you underneath the dryer and i also have got to the point where i have a little side bottle that is like a hair freshener for hair just in case the weave wow is yes they actually sell them in beauty supply stores in different sense okay just wow case, but this, to be honest thank you weave is a thing okay <clears throat> I said suggest buying a different line of hair, a different okay. if it's that bad. Okay. Because it's some type of chemical, because the weave always has some type of smell in it. And is so there a way to get the chemical it, off other than I the apple cider vinegar thing? I haven't discovered it. That's why I'm but, but see, <clears throat> But see, now, this is my problem with using the apple cider vinegar or shampooing the hair I prior to. It. It, changes, it changes. It You know, again, you placing the hair in. It's new hair for a certain type of look. Once you shampoo that hair, it changes in or sometimes alters the look. So it depends on. And those are the ones that are no good. If it changes really bad after the first wash, don't get it again. So I tell you what, we are going to come right back with you. Our discussion is very sizzling right now. It is actually great. We have talked about some things, um, have given revolution to, you know, some things. But I tell you what, we're going to come back with Chef V, which is not here today, but I tell you, we have her teammate, Liana, that is going to bring about something that is delicious, so you very, you need to stay tuned. And welcome back. Yes, it's the Hair Debate Show, my favorite part of the segment. And let me tell you why, because the chef has prepared something delicious, one of my favorites. So I'm excited. Let me bring her out, Liana. Oh, love break. I, you could you could just say all them in front of me, G. <laughs> no, no, you don't. You don't show that out. I'm sorry. No, you don't show. We appreciate it though. We appreciate it. Can you really apologize for showing out? I want you to. I want you to. Oh my God, that you know what? And it looks like is that cayenne pepper? Yes. Uh, uh, 
Oh. And pepper, maybe a little paprika on the top too. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay, which is good for the scalp. Mm. The stimulation. Oh, wow. No, no, it is. Oh. It is. It's, it's great for it's the scalp. If you eat it? And it is. It is. No, eating no. it. But okay. maybe we could test it with with some products and place it in our hair. I'm you just. Go first. Like, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> And so now the egg, which is, uh, and we all, you know, know, because from back in, you know, our grandparents' age, when it yeah. comes to eggs, they used to crack them open and place them on the hair for a conditioner. That's my favorite yes. deep conditioning technique. <laughs> That's it. That's my favorite. No, for real. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You want a treatment? That's a treatment. Yeah. And so then partaking it too, and I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to give it a try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely amazing. Isn't it amazing? It is absolutely amazing. And so I tell you, um, even the yolk in it is, you know, what it does to the body. You know, the aminos and everything that's associated with it is absolutely, yes, it's great. It's great. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I hope you got some more back there. I'm just saying. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. I, that, I plan on partaking. Yes, and so, thank you so oh. much. Yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'm going to go thank ahead you. and finish devouring this. Again, my name is Morello Kane. It's the Hair Debate. This is the platform where we debunk, debate, and discover all things here.